All right, so we're here. We're at Baxter State Park, currently on the Hunt Trail, uh, approaching Katahdin. You can see my fiance in the background. Say hi, Elise. <laughs> uh, we spent the better part of the last two days um, just getting up to Maine from Virginia. Uh, stops in Connecticut. We used to live in Bridgeport, Connecticut, so we made a little stop there. Um, then we got to Maine last night, and we stayed at a little motel in Millinocket, uh, Pam, Pamola, Pamela Motel, I don't know. Um, it smelled like Chinese food, <laughs> and, uh, cigarettes at one point. We've got about five, five and a half hours of sleep, so we're really well rested for this big big climb today so I think we have about 10 miles in total um, five miles up to uh, the summit and we'll hit the summit and on the way back down on the hunt trail that'll be the official start to the through hike so yeah gonna be a super tough um, but exciting Day one with Katahdin. Yeah, this is nuts. So we're like three miles up the hunt trail. It's been absolutely brutal. Um, hand over hand climbing, a lot of rebar stuff. Couldn't film it at all. Um, just had to focus on climbing. We're about two, two-ish miles from the summit. Um, but views are great. Uh, bugs are kind of really bad once you stop moving um, but yeah overall trail is super super tough you can see Elise going up through the rocks and boulders it's pretty much this for a few miles up until um, around the area of Thoreau Spring and then it uh, flattens out for a little bit up until the summit so that's where we're headed now so we just finished up the uh, super hard part on the hunt trail, all the bouldering and climbing, and now we're on the uh, tableland, which is mile, mile or so up to the Katahdin summit. This is a million times easier than the first uh, section of the day. Um, oh, as I fall, um, you can kind of see Katahdin summit up there. So that's where we are headed. And yeah, compared to what it was before, this section is gonna be much easier, much nicer. Got our first view of the summit. It's probably like 10 minutes away. Everyone's been saying it's like a few minutes away. Um, but yeah, looks like there's a line there, but that's the first time we've actually clearly seen the summit. Since we start, are you happy to hit the summit? I'm dying. <laughs> So Lisa and I just summited. Um, it was a madhouse up there and you can kind of see it in the back corner, all those people up there. Um, 
yeah, there was just a ton of people up there, so I didn't take a video of the actual summit, but I'll post, uh, I'll post the summit photos, um, on this video, but we're headed, we're headed down now. Uh, yeah, so I guess this is the official, official start once I touch, uh, that cairn for, uh, Mount Katahdin at the top. Um, take the photo at the sign, and now we're on our way back down uh, the AT on the Hunt Trail, um, back down to Katahdin Stream. Uh, so yeah, took us, at least how long did it take us? <laughs> probably, um, probably like five hours, four and a half, five hours to get up, uh, which is pretty good time. It's really slow. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how long it, uh, takes to get down. So picking it back up with about a mile left um, till we get to the campsite for tonight. Um, overall, Katahdin is super hard. Um, we've both done some pretty tough hikes, uh, mainly in New Hampshire before. This is definitely harder than any of those. Uh, definitely harder than Mount Washington, harder than Franconia Ridge. Um, if you're doing the hunt trail, anything above tree line, from tree line to the tabletop, is just climbing, um, scrambling, bouldering. Uh, yeah, really tough. Um, but we got one mile left. Um, successful summit, and weather was absolutely perfect. We had it was about 70 degrees sunny it's probably around like 60 at the summit with barely any wind so i don't think we could have gotten a better summit day uh and yeah super happy that my fiance got to do the hike up with me and actually have the moment at the the top um that was super special uh so that'll that'll be a highlight in my book uh for the whole trip so we're really proud of ourselves uh, after day one um, no injuries no twisted ankles uh, no blisters or anything so just a little sore so I'm gonna uh, you know lay down probably watch some movies on our phone <laughs> and eat some food and then go to bed um, so thanks for watching day one uh, tomorrow it's 100 mile wilderness, first day of the 100 mile wilderness. So, all right, thanks for watching. Take care. Mm -hmm.